I'm an American. No, okay, we're kidding. We're having too much fun. Atlanta phase versus Boston. Miles, we do have a very interesting series before us. And I mean, frankly, just the map set alone is enough to sort of pique my interest. Skid Row is the ultimate. You can go up by 100 points and it just doesn't matter. It is chains on chains. It's always going to be a good time. And I mean, this is obviously a map that you want Atlanta phase to work on to clean up a little bit as well. So first good look from these guys in quite some time. A busy to the spear leading the charge. In he goes into Skid Row. And it's nothing but skid marks on this hard point so far. It, look at all those skulls. I mean, let's face it, everyone's playing for the objective. That is a certainly hot area of the map right now. But eyes towards that P2, and that's where FaZe is going for, and it looks to be all there is for the moment. Oh, that's all good. That is, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. You know, it happens. Uh -oh. Team kill from time to time. But FaZe maybe happy for the rotation. Boston happy for the time. You win the opening break, and I mean, you at least get time to break down P2. Asim is setting up on the massive pinch. You got Priest getting shots down from the top. Slasher continues to be just on point with the frag grenades. Now Atlanta FaZe maybe feeling the pressure, or maybe just gonna rip some heads off. Selling cool as ice gets the extra kill, and I mean, there you go. They do have the perfect setup over towards P2, and maybe not perfect. You got Priest out by the crates, but they will get this initial time. Yeah, time to pull the lead back now for FaZe. We typically see here in this hard point, our full 60s a money hill, as the kids call them. Selium from the backside of the dumpster. Fantastic damage. Draws at the man to finish that kill there. As we're going to hold this position as long and as hard as we can. 40 seconds remaining for phase is so far immaculate. In the positioning simp had by gossips as well. Just making sure you block the spawn so nobody's looking two directions. It is nothing but ARs all staring down a very long line. But now it's all up to Draza up top. Has to make the big play. Too much time to give away. And Draza going to seal their fate. Small window of opportunity for Boston to create some mixiness. But there you go. A full 60 on P2. Atlanta phase. Perfect execution. Not a setup on the rotation. Good job by Asim. Just checking the corners. No sneaky business coming through. Speaking of sneaky business, two men on the flank. Snoopy's got it covered. So Boston might not have got the P2 break, but they are on point. Keep things secure. They're going to get this initial time. Yeah, wonderful work. I'm sure the watch party is enjoying the show so far, but still very early days. Lovely work from Asim. This is great. Fantastic shots under the second. Great area control there of the jump up room over to Priester. Eyes on. Can he back up now? Find some space to work with. In the alley, we're going to fly soon. But there's plenty of players here from Boston. They've got the numbers. And can Snoopy slow down the attackers even more? Nope. Such a tough spot. Big win from Selling too. That's a pistol. I was going to say, Boston, we're on point with everybody looking the exact direction they need to. But Selling with the extra gunfight wins. Turns some heads. Make things a little bit more chaotic. And Atlanta Phase utilize that to get the break. And now they are just crawling around this new time. Slasher able to pick up one. And no trades from the Terrors. And they really want to fight for these final 15 seconds as well. Going to jump all over it. Slasher on a three spree as well. They'll bite our game. And in the meantime, time you might have won the rotation as well so boston fight for old asim is going to be the first one to that new time one gunfight against selium to kick things off and asim right gun for the job difficult man to deal with though atlanta phase coming out on top of the rotation snippy flexing around now the inside of the barbershop selium has tactically retreated to the outside waiting for his teammates on the pinch here we go draws a potential for a couple here tagged up the stuns are going to slow them down Wow, look at that. Boston have walked away with a big set of kills. Draza, though, plays it a little late. Manages to find one or two. Damage dealt. Snoopy slides wow. out. Magnificent work there with the rivals. Selling on the trades once again. But Boston still hanging on to the lead. Just desperation for anyone to get this time. Everybody's one shot. Everybody's spinning in circles. A seam coming out on top, but going to have maybe two more to win. Simp inside the point gets his one. Asim seals the deal. But the question is, can he read the spawns? I think Asim heads up as his teammates are going to be rotating over towards New. But that is a beautiful hill there for Boston. Now this is the time you cannot afford to make mistakes. A BZ, the shot is on point to backslasher down. Two players from Boston spawning out, but that just turns into a pinch. And this is the comfort flow state right now. Boston maybe not collecting the time, but in prime position to start getting it as soon as number seven moves in. Number seven in time now taking in favor of Boston Breach. Hold it down as best you can, Priester. The bullet penetration there on the container gets him through. There's the cross. A scene with the damage in. The re-challenge phase managed to walk on through. Down a slasher. You start to run out of players here for Boston Breach. Selling with a clean break. Phase hard point. 
That is just overwhelming, too. I mean, we saw the way it kicked off from Priest's point of view, right? It's the nades and stun backing him down. He opened up the cross, and I mean, everybody was made one shot, but couldn't quite finish the kills. And bully ball right now for Atlanta to get through on that money hill. A big moment for them to get that break, and a couple players working on some streaks as well. At least the thought in the back of your mind. Seems surprisingly 8 and 12. I feel like I've been feeling his impact. But either way, Boston forced to set up for new. If Boston over doors new we go in a very close game so far as our first set of hard points come to a close. Let's go for a listen in with Boston Breach. Uh, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I got one. One shot. One shot. One shot. Computers. Computers. I'm busy. One shot back alley. One shot back alley. I'm busy. MC one shot. Really beacon fire. What's on new? He's on new. Sim dead. Nice. Let's use the fire. 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 I'm trying to look around. Watch it. No, he's already top ticket. Top ticket. Top ticket. Crossing, crossing, cross. He's one shot cross. I hear. I spawned back up. Crossing, 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 crossing. Dumps are heady. Back train, top case weak, top case weak, bro. Crossing garage. There's gonna be two back right now. I don't know them, C1 computers. I think it's B5. It's gonna be B5. Solid work out of Boston Breach. The tables have turned. They've got themselves P2 this time round. Phase and an aggressive approach though. A BZ Simp draws are now flying forward. Supi's got to take care of as many as he can. He gets nothing. Damage dealt though. Can Phase hold on? Upstairs now they move. This could be a very, very important break. Oh, poor Priest. Yeah, overwhelmed. And there it goes. That was just a, an overwhelming show of force. Again, Atlanta Phase on the bully ball front. Even closing the doors to obstruct the line of sight to give you more time to set up for the kills. Atlanta Phase on point in the flow state. You get the P2 break that you need. And it's moments like that that win you the game. And now it's just a victory lap. Picking him apart in the kill feed. Selium at his absolute finest. It's a low kill game, but the score for Atlanta Phase soaring nice and high. Oh, indeed. Boston have been silenced in the second set. Pressure now on. Draws finding the kills. The back alley will be open for business momentarily. BZ set up now is being pressured there. Priester from the pinch. Hard points up. Phase are cornered here. So Sim could maybe make a play from the outside, but you've got to get the play going forward now. And Abizi, the trades are there. Snoopy finds two. Still alive and kicking. There's the push. One man left on the point. And the best thing right now for Atlanta Phase, they set up to break from this side. That way they can block the spawns and just get here quicker. So the trades are going to come out on top for them, but that's only if they get them. Priest wins a massive gunfight on the flank, and you talk about blocking the spawns. Draza no longer in the play on this new time. Boston re-break the hill, force Atlanta Phase so far away that you're going to get these final 25 seconds almost guaranteed. The battle, though, for that new time. Sally and Credit Corner, you know he's going to win it. 19-9, and nine. he does the little things right. 15 seconds remaining on the back alley. Slash has got a lot to contend with here. Only gets one. That's going to be a nice bit of time for FaZe though in the business end here of the hard point. As Boston over towards the barbershop again. First go around. Very, very exciting. Let's see if Boston can hold it here. That's the good start. Snoopy cracked out inside the hill, so much so that he's nearly nading himself, juking in the player cam and in game. But Atlanta Phase triple hit through the back. It's the square up. They got the trophies. They're going for the chow, but maybe going into the blender. Maybe a standoff moment as well. It happens occasionally on the barbershop, but with Selium, it's never comfortable. Very important, though, to keep the contest going. Simp! Oh, big damage. The second man, Sim finds two. There's the contest continuing. FaZe are holding on. Boston, last man. Slasher gets it. Trades are there. Abizi instantly into the chow. Oh my god, non-stop. Draws are down. Priest it in. Trades on trades. 25 for the win. Yeah, but they're going to get through, too. You put so much effort into this old time that you just let so many players out through Garage over towards P5. Maybe a moment of overcommitment there from Boston. We're now going to be forced to flood, potentially into death. A seam maybe can create a one versus one player spawning bottom Garage, but Abizi is going to be by himself for at least a little bit of time. But while he's buying the reinforcements, his teammates get the cleanup kill, shoot some players in the back, and now get cornered up. Atlanta Phase funneling through one direction in the teamwork in the end was perfect. Atlanta Phase handled map one well. Things looking good on Skid Row. There we go. Skid Row 
comes to a close and it was an admirable run from Boston to start things off. But again, FaZe, we saw the same thing yesterday on Invasion. Once they get going, there is simply no stopping them. That is map one in the books. FaZe, take the lead. And they really do just have a, a level of consistency in the gameplay in terms of always being ahead of the action, making the right plays. Like it's easy. His reputation is to just fly, be hyper aggressive, go in, be the entry sub, pick up two pieces. But in the moments where he's the first guy rotating over towards B3, we're watching him camp out in like the, the laundry, the ASD site for 20 seconds, waiting for the right timing to make the breaks, making sure he's blocking spawn. So I mean, Beezy might have only gone 13 and 21, but he's still making the correct plays on the map. And, and of course, as is typical for Skid Row, it really does come down to P2. The first go around, Boston almost did enough for the break for a 1v1 between Draza and Priesta up top. Draza has the advantage. He gets the kill, and that buys you an extra 30 seconds. And of course, on the second B2, Atlanta Faze just steamroll it and get the break. So it is the money hill for the reason Atlanta Faze handle it better and nice little comfortable win towards the end. I mean, it really is, as you can see here, when this was the lead change from Faze. After that, they never looked back. That P2 so, so important for so many reasons. The biggest gap we saw there in the second set as well. Time and time again there on Skid Row, it is the decider. But Faze walk away with a 250 to 174 victory in the end here. And that is going to be the highlights, ladies and gents. A hell of a lot of red in this uh, absolutely. I mean, again, credit to Boston, though. They did play super well towards the start. Again, the, the biggest sort of flawed moments were at P2. Maybe an overcommitment on the P5, uh, you know, from the barbershop hill towards the end. But at that point, it's just a mix fest. It is going to be uncomfortably difficult to try to manage everything that you need to uh, in these sort of final moments because you can see the amount of pressure that FaZe is just putting on at any given time. Even for, like, the barbershop hill, we are like laying down behind a wall and Selium is just constantly getting tags like through the wall on top of you. That really never is a moment to breathe. No, and especially when you're getting damaged like that, it makes the entire push so much easier for your teammates. I mean, this is a game with a slightly higher health pool than we've seen in Call of Duty for a long time. Every bullet makes a difference. We're talking about Kenny on Optic, these sort of damage hose kind of players. All you want to do is get those tags in. It makes a world of difference for you, your teammates, especially Yarl in ranked. Make sure to get your shots in. Shots coming up, though, on Terminal Search and Destroy. That is going to be our next map here in the series. Invasion Control for map number three. Let's see how we go. But Chance... I saw Boston, mate. Not a bad showing from, from them in that first map. I do think, I mean, a lot of folks are expecting, you know, a very different result, maybe a higher score win from FaZe, but Boston came to play today. How are you faring them for the S&D? Well, it, it's very difficult to say because this is the first time that we're going to see Atlanta phase on Terminal Search and Destroy. It's virtually been their auto veto the entire year. And the good news for Boston, we've seen them on it. They have a good deal of success. They've gotten some reps in. They just played this map a few days ago against Optic Texas, and they look strong as well. So I know their attacking rounds have been a little bit tough, but on a map like Terminal, that's just the expectation. Offensive rounds are not easy, so they certainly have more opportunity to get things uh, together, more things to talk through. They have more reps on the map in its purest form, so that will be interesting to see how they do. And of course, long term, well, control, it's the same thing. One in 12 on attacking rounds is abysmal, but it's the same theme in this map. It's invasion that we're going to for control, so the expectation isn't even to be good on attacking rounds, but we'll see how they're going to fare. Again, if there was any opportunity in this series for them, you have to imagine it's going to be here in the map too. There we go. That was your Monster Energy pregame for Boston Breach. Let's see if they can find the comeback here in Search and Destroy. A very, very exciting start for them. I think those folks at the watch party should be uh, feeling good about how the squad's looking. There's an air of sort of pensive, uh, you know, nervous energy. But at the same time, anyone should feel that way going up against FaZe. They're on a very, very hot streak right now. They've got the flames on their emblem, guys. They're on a spree. Can Boston... Bring the uh, bring the fire hose to that flame and extinguish it. Let's find out here on Terminal. And again, a very interesting map. I'm curious as to how uh, FaZe is going to be playing it as well. They're not going to enjoy it for a reason, but I know for teams like New York Subliners, for Toronto Optic to some degree, there's been a lot of sort of map pool testing. And long term, you need to be able to play every map in the game. So Atlanta FaZe, time to show off the goods they can bring to the table. Obviously, overall, their s &D has been a spectacle. Of the six losses that they have, like five of those six are to the other two best s &D teams in the game. Atlanta FaZe has steamrolled everybody else. So, Boston, they better be careful. 
they could be on the wrong end of the Atlanta phase master class, but King Salvo breaks out, some damage being exchanged. You just have the intel. At least one player playing around the plane. In fact, two two split out by the airfield on the tarmac. You've got a few members of Atlanta Phase, and they're able to watch the plane, watch that massive window, that connector that takes you from Burger Town over towards the duty free. Here we go. It's boarding time, and Boston Breach are looking to get their seats early. See that fire extinguisher being shot just so it explodes. That's a way to clear the cockpit. Safest way to do it. Something dangerous, though, is Draza underneath the plane. Prisa falls down to get the trades, but now you got a BZ watching the coverage. It is perfect from Atlanta. You get the first blood you execute on the round. 30 seconds to go for Boston to work with, and you got to go collect that bomb. It might be forced to work A as well, but Snoopy's very split. Sint being sneaky. And Simp on point as well, his awareness as good as it gets. And for Priesta, this is a hopeless situation. Got to sprint into death with that bomb down. He has to get into the plane as well. And Simp is going to be on top of that position. Little bit of noise. A BZ there with a the rear coverage. FaZe take the first. And credit to Draza. Again, Atlanta FaZe might like not like to play the map, but Draza is one of the ultimate grinders in the league. It's sort of a more unique position to play underneath that plane, but he still collects the headshot. I don't know if he got a wall bang or almost had to have been, but the stuns and nades and teamwork, everything on point from Atlanta in the first round, but defense is the easier problem to solve on terminal. Very curious is to see what Atlanta phase is going to do on the attack. I would expect aggression, but with these guys, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Three man leaning towards the A-bomb site, towards the plane. 2-2 two -two split for Boston here on defense. Nobody really giving away too much. Slasher will be the key man. Watching that connecting. Opening tags, nobody home. Smokes exchanged, just over a minute to go. And you hear all these shots coming through, just the wall bangs as well. So they're checking for anybody to do those jump ups. You clear it out with the wall bangs. You know it's open. You clear it out down low and you keep things moving. We're going to be challenge playing. Here we go, Snoopy. You've seen your first set of shoulders. Will the nade land? It does. A little bit of damage. Enough for Slasher to finish up the kill. Here we go. Will FaZe still commit to this? More shoulders still on the catwalk. Snoopy in a quick reposition. He's trying to get anything here. Phase still being held back. Draza now makes entry. Oh, here we go. Phase have taken control of the plane. They're leaving, though. They're getting out quick. And now the question for Boston, how quickly do you read this pressure? You got to see him towards the middle of the map. So he's cleared out hallway, but all these players cross without being spotted. But I think they can feel it. Priesta maybe creeping off Eskies just a little bit. Now he's got the intel. But Asim gets caught in the meantime. So he reads him like a book. Oh Priesta my. backs down a little too slow. The repositioning too quick and poor Slasher left in a one versus three with bomb down. Another hopeless situation for Boston. Terribly, terribly difficult. Ace have played this brilliantly so far. Will Slasher be able to catch one or two? 30 seconds on this. Hasn't seen a head yet. He has been spotted and that is it. Ace with another good round. And again, maybe two like minute mistakes you could say coming out from Boston. I mean, you had Snoopy on the back ladder, barely showing himself. The way he was playing it before, he's just looking for the intel, calling out for his teammates to go for the wall bangs from top AC and top third. But he shows a pixel, draws out, rips his head off, and the other maybe small mistake. Asim does make a good quality sort of S and D play. Priest gives him the intel. There's pressure over by Burger. Asim wants to flank. Problem is, it might have been a good play for Atlanta phase. That just means an easy read. Destructive in these first two rounds, and now they're back on defense. Feeling nice and comfy. And it's a nearly perfect read here. Phase starting to bring the reinforcements over towards this B side of the map. Boston are in, but all they're into is a BZ, and he takes care of a scene, puts him out of the round 0-3 so far. Kills the entire play too. Slasher maybe trying to open things up on the flip side. You do even the odds up at a three versus three. So Slasher doing a nice job of getting active. Two players have not been dragged back for Atlanta phase to defend the A site. It's selling him by himself, but Boston are making plays without the bomb for the moment. So right now they're just looking for the kills. And Abizi's watching them. One, two. They're on the cross. There's the third man. Here's the go button for Abizi. This could be a three piece for him. Snoopy, is he pulling that rear security? Is he watching the back? Hey, gets in with the tag. Simps there to pinch. Huge work. 
Can the young phenom find another one here? Selium's got his. It's all down to Snoopy. They have him completely trapped, entirely surrounded. An absolutely hopeless situation once again for Boston in the search. And it, you could just see, it's like the Intel game, right? It's perfect trigger discipline. A busy down low, waits till he spots out all three players. After he calls out all three, Selling now gives up over on the Esky side of the map, rotates in over towards AC. And I will say, Slasher did find good timing to get over towards AC, but Selling again heads up. It always finds the kill. And I mean, we're just watching Simp slide around, being like, yep, there's a guy here. Yep, there's a guy here. And they just take time to not overcommit, not over chow, just coordinate, suffocating in these rounds. Simp and Selling a perfect 7 0 combined. Another 2 2 split. A busy. This is the standard running straight at you. No Fs given. The only F he cares about is the first blood, and Simp follows up as well. Snoopy, though, nice play. If he can get two, this is huge. A BZ, you know he was nearby. Can't get it done. And a BZ, yeah, he's just winning you rounds. Three on the round there for Tyler Farris. Absolutely foul gameplay. Oh my God. I mean, look, we're running out of ways to describe phase. This is so, so devastating. Their terminal gameplay so far, clinical performance out of them. Whether it's, you know, suffocating Boston Breach three rounds in a row, lightning aggression there from Abizi. The first three kills that go his way, magnificent stuff. What will we see here as Boston Breach are still in danger here on terminal? And, you know, dangerous in deep waters as well. Poor Snoopy as well. I mean, Abizi was the guy that got the first blood. He sees the other person, but takes a little bit too long to remember. Oh, yeah. There's a second guy going to be right nearby, and maybe he gets the double kill on a lot of players. BZ not one of them, and Simp, he's been perfect all game, and that's going to continue. Finally gets traded, but he at least gets the cruise. Three versus three, and I mean, look at it, the setup oh. from Atlanta Face. They're all nearby. They've run underneath the plane. They're always in the right spot. A 2v2 and a BZ tagged up, but you don't trade him out. He gets out with his life, and he's got selling for the backup. Stays alive. Perfect play around those shipping containers. Snoopy and Priestanel trying to get back on the plane. They've embarked for now, trying to recover the bomb. Snoopy's equipped for the gunfight. Doesn't throw a shoulder. Selium guns them both. Unbelievable. We'll see the kill cam for that one. MC closes the round out. We're looking at a perfect 6 and 0. Oh. I mean, that is the most immaculate, perfect centering you could ask for. Selium, what a two. I mean, drop shotting through his plane seats, through their plane seats. Doesn't make a difference. He does not miss a bullet. Uh, yeah, this is kind of as expected, I suppose, for Terminal S and D. Maybe we were saying it was Boston's best odds, but just because Atlanta Phase doesn't play the map doesn't mean they won't be fantastic at it. I mean, this is just about perfect S and D gameplay coming through. A busy first blood reaper slowing things down just a bit and maybe the reason they're slowing it down just going to play around sims cruise missile he found himself a nice corner of the map and we'll see what they do for the intel two players out or b another two players hit dreams there's two players directly in front of simp in this moment but simp just found the perfect spot they don't know he's here oh he's just gonna sit lie and wait they won't cross him oh they will cross a bz can he get away with his life the answer is yes simp springs in to save him 4v2, Priester and Asim over by the B-bomb site. It's a completely open plane. Decent damage there from Priester on the cross, but it's not going to be enough to stop that bomb being planted. This is going to be an exceptionally challenging retake. Yeah, this is going to be the sixth 6-6-0 six, six, oh, that we have had this year. Unless Priester and Asim can clutch, which no, against Atlanta FaZe, they absolutely cannot bomb down Priester. Last man standing. Maybe take as many players to the grave as you possibly can, but you've already been spotted of pop. Sims got you trapped on one side, draws to the other. It's hopeless. It is devastating. It is destructive. And that is the map that Atlanta FaZe like to play the least. A perfect 6-0. Utter perfection in the search and destroy for FaZe. Boston has been left stunned as FaZe take a 2-0 lead here in the series. And it is moving very quickly, boys and girls. See if Boston Breach can pump the brakes on the control coming up in a moment. But for now, that was one hell of a terminal SD. That's one we're going to be rewatching to learn as much as we possibly can about the mighty phase in Search and Destroy. 
it's just every round doing everything right. Like there's so many moments even around like the, the B side over by Eskies that you just have to be on point with your decision making right from the jump. And we saw a BZ show it off ends effectively a few times, right? When he's on defense on Eskies, the smoke comes out. He immediately dips over the bomb site and just shreds a player. And then he does the perfect play, gets back out with his life. It's perfection. It's a 6-0. It's yep. Atlanta phase. I mean, again, we could spend all day breaking it down, but I suppose there's no point. Invasion Control going to be up next. Atlanta phase, top three offensive team in the game on the map. That's as good as it gets. Well, Invasion Control coming up now. We're going to see a very, very quick commercial break before we get into the matchup. But so far, a fantastic look from Atlanta phase. They're absolutely ripping. Can Boss and Breach find the resolve and turn this ship around? One map is all it's going to take to get themselves into it. After that, we go to a sub base. Boss and Breach, Atlanta phase. This is the CDL. the season strong with the call of duty league pack grab yourself the cdl operator weapon blueprint and so much more check out the call of duty store in game now upgrade your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league slice up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store I just want to show everyone why we're the best team in the world, and I think we've been putting up a lot of hard work. Stun will hit. Just a BC has a good job not giving him the one on one. Then gets his head ripped. Hits some great shots. Awakening. Tagged on weak, but it's Awakening that's able to win it. That is a clutch and a half in round one. Purge, he found the right moment to snap, and trades are going to be there. Purge gets the double kill as well. Purge going to hold it down from the top right side. He was the one that really broke through over towards P1, and he might be the reason that Vegas Legion win this game. With kills early, Wallbang's coming through. 38 HP for Abizi. He's dodging. Sometimes you just got to try different tracks. Oh, okay. Abizi. Yeah, he's up to eight quickly. There's it another one. A little bit too There's late. Another tank spree and an ace. Too easy for Mr. Abizi. That is disgusting and also can't happen. Shotzi, when he's in his bag, bro, it is so fun to watch. Like, there is a rhythm and a rhyme to his gameplay, and it's a blast. Well, he's going to call it a cruise right away. Flies on down, hits the speed boost. And he may be the most entertaining player in the CDL, and he's dropping some of the biggest numbers. So Ultra players, it looks like they're going to four-man group up together and work. Draws his phone two in the middle of the map with the Renette. He's going to find the third as well. Draws a lighten up. He's 3 0 them, so I think they're f***s and we are on top.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Call of Duty League. Almost ready to get into our third map of the series, Atlanta Phase, taking on Boston Breach so far. But first and foremost, we want to make sure that you come to Major 2. Buy a ticket, come to Florida, bring some sunscreen, scan the QR code to start things off. The Miami Heretics Major, that's Major 2, presented by Gamer G. You can grab tickets now. We will be there, so are your favorite players. And ladies and gentlemen, one team that's going to be there is going to be Atlanta Phase. Let's face a chance, they're absolutely disgusting. We have a very, very top-heavy league right now, and these boys may be the very tippity top of that that is the conversation that is what we get to reveal and find out at the major because like you know new york seemingly is hit form toronto obviously dangerous team but these guys their numbers in like map win percentage is right back to the where uh when they were in cold war they are destroying teams they are making things look easy their auto veto map they just won in a 6-0 fashion I mean, what, an 8KD, a 7KD from Simp? I don't know how many first bloods he got, but anything these two players wanted to do in that too, they did to perfection. Absolutely. The terrors have been terrorizing the league for a very, very long time. Ever since that Black Ops 4 season, they walk away with you know, back to back MVPs for Simp, a world championship, you name it. They have been running the show in one way or another ever since then. Atlanta Face, can they find success here on MW3? Grass has been talking the talk, but they have been walking the walk even more so, so far. Let's have a look at Invasion Control now. Boston, it is time to mount the comeback. And it's a very difficult map to map to come back on, right? You have the third overall best attacking team in Atlanta phase. And I know six doesn't look as bad for Boston, but again, as of recent, you saw it in the Monster Energy pregame keys. They're like one in 12 in their past 13 offensive rounds. So the offense has been a struggle. Granted, this map could be a defensive shootout. However, Boston have been getting suffocated so hard on offense, they're not even getting ticks. And maybe more bad news, Atlanta phase just going to run it down straight into the yep. point. Draza doesn't make it to stuns on point i'm not to slow them but atlanta Faye is still putting on the pressure kills still following their way sim now leading the charge i mean selling we're together selling gonna fall and maybe boston's defense is gonna hold strong Ooh, with simp shooting like this one hp it's not gonna help out too much ian abizi finding kills across the map less than a minute to go here for phase and attack it shouldn't be too much of a problem though capturing b slowly but surely no auto aim no problem sim still finds it four and a no weird shots to hit but yeah indeed he does make it look quite easy he's gonna be the thorn in their side he's killed a seam and slasher twice great stun from his seam to at least know he's back blue and there you go it took three attempts to win the gunfight but you've cleared out simp and now you can swarm around this b zone Easy though, not making it easy. Draza watching the flank and well, everything seemingly fall into place. Even Simp off spawn, killing Priesta. So a nice little moment there for Boston to clear out their base, but everything else went wrong. And there is mounting pressure over towards A. Boston still responding. Number five, Snoopy might want to defend the B zone, but the bigger problem is this A zone. Players already on the point. If a BZ can get a single pick here, that's a massive success. Oh, he's already got tags into that player. Here we go. Fresh magazine. Slasher, you're up next. Here we go. Absolutely rips him. One minute 40 to play here. 19 lives for FaZe to throw themselves into this one. Boston Breach, you have to turtle up. Find those kills, then push that front line forward. But now, oh dear, they are walking into the light. Do not go into the light, Boston. Well, it, for Boston also, you got to get them A off the point. You can't give up a single tick, but you also might just lose this round on lives. A minute and a half is so much time, especially when the clock is being stopped. One tick of progress already through. Can't get the trades because it's Draza for two. There goes the second tick, just maybe. I think a scene there. In the nick of time to decap that point, but all ready for Atlanta Pays. A successful round in a minute and 20 to work with. And again, they could just do this on lives as well. Oh yeah. You could bleed Boston Breach out here in the round. I see him doing everything he can. Keep this zone safe. Great shots at range. Enough to just keep those players back and pass that information over. Sim though, from that side of the map, finding his kills. Snoopy, trade it out. Closer and closer we get to the point. It's still on Sim. He's the man for phase right now to cause the problems to see. Can he keep the reinforcements from even getting close to the fight? Well, right now, his job is to slow him down. He's doing his best, but you can see it. Be, yeah, I mean, they're just flying at him, right? You got the life advantage. You got time on your side. They're not wasting any time. They are soaring. Priest to trade it out as well. Draza does get caught, but a seven versus five. So Boston's defensive has pulled strong. 
but it's all about the trades. No more respawns remaining for Boston. These four players, well, we say it all the time. They got to be perfect. It has to be. Everyone's favorite P word here in the CDL. Clock's ticking phase. This could still go the way of Boston. Free stuff. Good That's a bad God. start. Over to Asim. He might be able to take one or two with him. Every second counts. Selium checks it. We'll take a trade for now. Over to Snoopy in the back line. It's done. All down a slasher. Has to stay alive. Here comes the pressure and it's done. FaZe win it on kills. Five for, I believe, the second time this year. Maybe the third that it's been done on kills, but that is destructive stuff. Uh, that is not ideal, not the way you want to go, but you can see how difficult it is to play against Atlanta. I mean, Priesta barely does anything wrong. He just gets zapped when he was top gas in the back and then he just ended up getting picked apart. So beautiful stuff there from Atlanta phase, as is tradition. And now for Boston. I mean, already on invasion control, your back is against the wall. You have to now win a round on offense. And I know they get the round five magic on occasion, but they're going to need it maybe a little bit sooner than that. We're going to be Boston Breach. It was a two-man stack for a moment. Trophies doing their job. Sim just waiting for the call, waiting for the pitch for his teammates. And oh my God, he nearly got away with that. Nice kills though from Boston. Two-man stack. They're looking to get rid of B now. Yeah, just a choice on the angle from Sim. Do you want to slide outer or inner? But not a lot of hope after the loss of the first gun fight. And now Draza has somehow just made it through DVD. Everybody distracting in the right moment. Now Atlanta Faze crawling and getting the kills. The trades are in. And that's an awkward moment where Drazit just finds the one opening in Boston, as is tradition. Back to square oh one, man. back to Palace, and back to dealing with Simp, whose rival nine shot, shot looks better than mine with any weapon ever. That rival nine shot certainly isn't shite, let me tell you that, boys and girls. Two segments at B, though, is what Boston can walk away with thus far. A BZ looking to walk away with a couple of kills. Nice work from a seam, stays alive. Slasher by the A Street. Tags in, suppresses Draza, makes him fall back. The front line's starting to shift a little bit in Boston's favor for now. Boston just has to find an opening. I mean, they're leaning more towards the A zone, which is partially open, but still players watching the cross. Priesta tagged up in one shot. That's a BZ there for the cleanup kills. So the only open avenue of attack, well, that has been simply sealed shut. And now Snoopy, I mean, it's just team shots. It's everybody coming through. It's someone's getting the tag. Someone else is cleaning up the kills or Draza winning the gun fight himself. Stress-free on defense. One bad moment for Boston. You know how things collapse. Or well, can they punch through, though? Snoopy, he's so hurt. Manages to win the fight. Last man on the point is now Cell. Can he win it? Oh, my God. He finds one more on the pinch. Here comes a BZ. Point four. Snoopy holds. This might be an opportunity. Stay alive, Snoopy. Don't let him bring you down. Hold the point. Ah, he got off. No, he didn't. Ah, the nade. That's the round. Phase. Keep it together as Snoopy does everything humanly possible. And those shots are electric too. Sim getting the oh, kill on the guy behind Snoopy and still with the instant pre-fired snap to where Snoopy's gonna come from. I mean, that might be Sim killing the guy with the trophy as well, trying to get that last ditch effort attempt in there, but that is just too painful of a round. And again, we saw it from Draza's point of view. He just slides in from DVD Alley straight to the point, uncontested. Find that small window of opportunity, but that is the teamwork and coordination and hitting the right things at the right time. Boston struggling to find kills. Struggling to find them. Ball is not lost, but we're getting very close to it. Nice three-piece there for all Boston Breach collectively. Pushing FaZe right back into their spawn. FaZe did win their last attacking round. Only easy thing to do twice. Sim taken care of as well. So again, in the middle of the map, very, very much a safe place right now for Boston. Car explosions aside. Pressure on Asim as well, right? He's not the lone defender anymore. Five and six spawn not to help him out, but he's even getting stunned up from the players from Atlanta Faze off spawn, who more than likely leaning towards A, maybe want to pierce the middle of the map and see if they can sniff out where the pressure's actually going to be coming from. So they sort of swung the map over, maybe to go towards B, and the teamwork again is perfect. They've opened up the middle of the map. Snoopy, the next one to fall, because he's channeling three players at the same time. And in the meantime, Atlanta Faze, they've made it to A. Oh, they made it to win. One player at the very least. Priest is now going to flush these players out of these difficult positions. Through the threshold. Into the feed. Nice work. Now over towards the A zone. Single segment captured there for Faze. 
Or did they? No, they did not. Slasher draining that work. Good stuff out of Boston. Check the corners out. Middle of the map. Yep, Simp already a little bit too quick to get in position against Atlanta. Not a moment to breathe. Oh nice God. trades coming through, though. Priesta, absolute shooter as well, but so is Draws with the pistol. Snoopy gonna fall in. 23 seconds on the clock. Boston, if they want to have hope, you want to win a dominant round on defense, you want to get them off B. First segment gone. Now, though, 20 seconds as Boston get them off this point once more. Starting to run out of players. Good work there with Slasher with an aid. I see him on the pinch. Oh, he stays alive. Slasher collapses on the point. This could be a win unless FaZe can make it to A in time. Eight seconds. Abizi can't get there. Snoopy's got the cross. Snoopy's got the cross in the plays they needed. Boston might have just gotten. They were feeling the pressure. They were feeling the heat, but they executed and got it done. And credit to Asim as well. Asim is going massive over by the ice cream section of the map. Doing a great job of do I want to overcommit and try to get the guys off B? The timing doesn't feel quite right. He turns and kills two different players off spawn while still keeping the guys on the B zone off the time to keep the time ticking. So big plays the whole way around, but Asim might have been the hero of that round. Still there for Boston. Back to square one. You got to win in offense just to force the round five. Got to force it. This is the only way. Well, it's towards B. There are two members of phase making their way in. Trophies are down. Don't worry too much about anything being thrown at you other than the bullets. Strong progress so far. First segment on the way out. Slasher on the coverage. Simps managed to creep in. Again, it's Slasher from up high. The Sentinel holding down that position. Second point on the way out. Good stuff out of Boston. Ooh, Sasha's on a five as well, and Asim is on a four. Well, there goes the four. You see Asim trying to be sneaky, uh -huh. but Atlanta phase, the entire squad came and hunted him down. But if you pick up the cruise, and that would have been the moment to do it. That does make things much easier for you, but Sasha is still on the hunt on the prowl. Now he's tagged up one shot. Might be a gunfight versus a BZ. And he's there to get it done. Teamwork there. You got the cruise. You bought yourself a window of opportunity, but you still have to try to go capture a presence in their spawn. Such a long way to go. Litigo has found himself a sweet corner. He might be able to deal some damage to these spawners. He has to move fast, though. Gets away with his life. Salim is on the hunt for it. And as you can see, the current ticks, both teams tied up five to five. That's to determine who gets defense in the final round. Right now, Slasher also the man that is blocking spawns, forcing that over towards blue. So, so every sneaky. kill he gets goes such a long way, but unfortunately, not checking enough and selling him. Too busy shooting bodies to get his own trade, but I think for Atlanta phase, they've been shooting bodies for the past three or four series that they've played. They are happy to let everybody know. It's the second body we've seen Selium shoot in this map alone, or in this round, three dead. The boss and breach, forced back into their spawn. Aggression out of Snoopy manages to flush the player at the bridge. So draws us down now an opportunity to make your way forward if you are Boston. Good news, you've got plenty of lives and you've still got over a minute to play. Well, I was going to say the minute to play, though, is not going to feel like a lot of time. Right now for Boston, they need to get inside a cafe. They need to get inside of rugs and then they're going to need to call in that cruise more than likely to find this opening. But they're finding it difficult just to get through Selly and B Street. Finally, he's going to fall, but you still need that indoors positioning. Draza is still having presence inside a cafe. And I mean, he's spotting out these players as they try to cross, but it is just a containment front. When we mentioned it first, it was a minute and 10 on the clock. Well, 30 seconds have gone by. Boston virtually made no progress. Yeah, it's been very difficult to get towards that side of the map. Selling the only man here on the top side. Crews coming in. Faze might scatter. It's going towards the street side. We'll slash it, bend it. Takes care of Sim. Two dead. Phase being pushed back. Boston, this could be the opportunity. And better late than never. 20 on the clock. Look at those spawns, though. Two players spawn that gas just in between the Boston players. Priest able to give you one. And now the players from Atlanta Phase are going to spawn out. Snoopy looking for the next kill. Takes a little bit too long to get it. You play a dancing game. You come out on the bottom side. You have stopped the clock with nine oh. seconds left. But the problem is, it is only Priesta who can not survive. An interesting attempt. The opportunities were created. But Atlanta phase, just another 3-0. Another 3-0 for phase. Boston's one opportunity snuffed out by the individual prowess of Atlanta phase. Every corner of the map had a 1v1 going down and it all went phase's way. Boston, plenty to mull over there before their next match.
as that was a very, very difficult last phase. As strong and as dominant as ever. I mean, feeling like there's nothing for these guys to even show respect towards. Again, shooting bodies like crazy in previously series. Salim shooting bodies as they're falling out of the air, sniffing out hiding spots of slasher. And again, there's a lot of teams right now looking hopeless when they're playing the squads at the top in Atlanta phase. Maybe the Dementors of the league. Simp, 5K <laughs> damage, sell 4K, not too far behind. Everybody up throwing up numbers. Abizi, outside of the SD, went negative in both the respawns, but if you paid attention to the game, did not matter in the slightest. That is destructive stuff there from Atlanta Phase. Business as usual in a terrifying map pool that they might be showing.